Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Drugs Milan Unboxing. We're in Empress Palace in the Bio Bubble. Uh, and with me is the legend himself, the former WBA and IBF Junior Lightweight Champion of the World, Brian Mitchell. Hi, Brian. Hi, Drugs. Thanks for inviting me. It's great to be back here. So we're just going to go through the show that we have on, mm -hmm. uh, on Sunday afternoon. Uh, six fights all in all. Yeah. Uh, we've got three preliminary fights, four rounders and six rounders. Uh, not much that we're going to talk about there, although there's one kid there uh, that I've got my eye on, the friend by Colin Nathan, uh, Shavante Kloppman. Shavante Kloppman, yeah. Undefeated yeah. guy. Yeah, he's with Busi in Tarla. He's now with Busi in Tarla. Yeah, undefeated 6 and 0, oh, but a uh, very talented fighter. 6 and 0, oh, 5 knockouts. I saw him fighting actually in, 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 in the Orient Theatre, you were there as well. Yes. He had an opponent that uh, was 2 and 0, oh, Kane, and he had gangbusters in the first round. I like how he kept his composure and then just took the guy out in the second. Yeah, he's so, def definitely a talent to look out for. Yeah. Shavante sure, equipment. And it's a nice division junior middleweight because we've got Brandon Tyser, we've got. Uh, uh, Rock Nap, yeah. and we've got the Mani Colombo, and now we've got some youngsters coming through. Always good to see. Then moving on, another guy that you manage now as well is Ludumbo, 9 millimeter Lamati. Also from the Eastern Cape, from Dansani, now with Golden Gloves. He's undefeated, and he's quite an experienced campaigner. Yeah, he's a good fighter, Drugs. It's, it's a pity what's happened to him in the last couple of years. Kind of been hanging around, not, not been active enough, you know, going to the UK. He couldn't find his feet. Mm. And he approached us a couple of months ago, and I'm, I'm quite keen to manage him. He's 16 and 1, so he's undefeated. And he's got a, a, a return fight with, with Saad. Um, uh, uh, Saeed Mohammed Hassan. Hassan, yeah. yeah, yeah uh, from uh, Tanzania now. Tanzania. It's a difficult fight mentally uh, for Lodumo. I chatted to him about it because mm -hmm. he stopped this guy before. I gave him a shoulder injury that scores the stoppage in Hassan. And it's a difficult fight because he should beat him easily. He's got pressure because he's going on in June to a world title, yes. but he can't look bad and let alone lose. How, how, how is he going to handle that? Well, uh, as you said, it's, it's pressure, but it's not pressure because yeah. he should be good enough to beat Hassan. But at the end of the day, every fight is like a world title fight. That's yeah. how I always tell yeah. my fighters. And, and I, that's how I, I groom myself. If you don't win this fight, you're not fighting for a world title. So he is under pressure, he needs to look good, he needs to show gold and gloves that he is the real deal. Yes. And, and then there's a big possibility that he fights in, in June for the world title. So, yeah, we look forward to, to a big fight with Drew Malamati. And he's a talented kid, he's rangy, uh, he's beaten some decent guys, Richie Metrandu, uh, that went nine rounds with uh, Juan Francisco Estrada, who's fighting Chocolate Tito tomorrow morning. Um, so he, he looks like he's got the goods and he's in a division where it's almost owned by South Africa because we had Welcome yeah. to Tabuyani Bungu, Deshaun Noro Ledwawa, Jeffrey Matabula, Takalani Ndlovo, I can go on and on. Absolutely, the list goes on and on. Because there's a lot to live up to there. And then a big division internationally, of mm -hmm. course, you mm -hmm. have the many Pacquiao's winning the division. Yeah, and, yeah, and Pacquiao's. The, the, the Pereira's and the yeah. Morales and the Ahmed's of the world. Yeah, Junior Jones big is division. also a factor there in the Junior February. Then we've got uh, 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 another charge of yours, Ricardo Malachika, Magic yeah. Man. Um, he's, he's got a tough fight again. I think he's Absolutely. been matched quite tough in his career. So Absolutely. Far. You know, he's fighting the South African champion, mm. Sabella and Dubiani, and it's, it's a tough fight. I mean, any guy that's a South African champion mm. is there mm. on merit. You know, so he's a good guy, Sabella. So we haven't taken the fight lightly, me as his manager, and he's trained, of course, Busi and Tala. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a big one for him as well. He also wants to get to that world title, mm. you know, which Gideon Butelezi has. So mm. he needs to win, he needs to have a couple of good wins, and he needs to prove that he is the real deal. He's 7-0 and oh with five knockouts. Yes. So um, he just hasn't really, as a pro, shown what he's, what he's got. He's got the talent, I believe. I've watched him in the gym. As his manager, I talk to him a lot. He's a clever kid. He's highly intelligent. He's got a great amateur pedigree. And I think we're going to see a lot from him. But it's all up to him tomorrow. Because he's, he's, he's been winning, but in his last bouts, he's not really looking good. No, he's, he's just winning. Yeah, uh, he's winning. just winning. Um, so that is now, he, he's now moved from Anton Gilmore. He's now with uh, Busim Tolo. You, in your career, is off, you've also moved from trainer to trainer. You had Willie Telwheel, you had Carlos Giacomo, Murphy Griffith, Harold Fulbright. Yes. Do you think sometimes that is just the sort of reboot that that is required. Yeah, I think you know you gotta you gotta be loyal in your career, yeah. which loyalty is gotta be loyal in yeah. life. And but if if it's to better your career and you need to do it, 
then these are the changes you've got to do. I needed to leave Wally Tawil to go to Carlos Giacomo. Mm -hmm. Carlos Giacomo uh, got me the world title fight mm -hmm. alongside with Stan Chris mm -hmm. So it was a good move for my career. And then I needed to leave Carlos Giacomo and go to Adolf Forbrecht, Golden Gloves, of mm -hmm. course, yeah. and, and Murphy Griffith. And the same for Ricardo Manajika. He's Anton Gilmore did a good job with him, but he's reached his peak with, with him. Mm -hmm. And Vucin Tello is really one of the up and coming players. He is, yeah. I mean, he's, he's been the background guy for, for everybody. Yeah. I mean, for, for Maruti and Talani, for all, all Colin Nathan's guys, yeah. he's, he trains the guys behind the scenes. So he's, he's really is the upfront guy. He's, he's, the, he's, he's the man of the moment, I would say. He, he's he's, he's not getting all the man. credit that he deserves. And I think his time is young now. I think Vusi Ntaro is going to be one of South Africa's best trainers. We'll see. Time will always tell, but he's certainly going in the right direction. Now, the main event, you know, I don't think there's another local fight in South Africa at this moment yeah. in time that is in such demand as uh, the super middleweight encounter for the South African title and uh, IBO or Africa and the WBA Pan African belt as well. But the belts aside, you know, they almost don't notice that. It's uh, Ron Campbell against Randall yeah. Lieberman. No, it's massive. They, well, as you said, there's three titles on the line. And it's, it's really big, and you know, local is lack, as we've been talking about it for a long time now. You go back to Kheri Kutsia and Kali, mm -hmm. and, and Harold Forbrecht, and Arthur Marcella, and, and myself, and Jacob Baraki, and Philip Indau, and Cassius Beloy, yeah, and Pierre Kutsia, and Jerry Deploy, who can even yeah. forget that, that great rivalry. So, yeah, I think this is going to be a crack. It, it's, it's hard to say it can't be a good fight. Both these guys are warriors, they come forward, they clash heads, they, they like to, to brawl, they like to roll. They both had backgrounds in their school days where they were both naughty street <coughs> fighters. Mm -hmm. And um, both good guys, very, very nice people outside the ring. And both good fighters and both warriors. Yes, uh, like you say, it's a fight that uh, it almost cannot disappoint, you know, because both, and both these guys have aggressive styles. And it's it, it's a, what you call a crossroads fight. You know, even yeah. is a veteran at the end of his career. And uh, Rowan is an undefeated up and coming prospect. Yes. And Rain has always been a very re reliable gatekeeper on an international level in the light heavyweight division. If you're going to go on and do great things like Elaine and Alvarez and knock out yeah. Kobali, you have to get past him in that first. Yeah, correct. Yeah. It, it is kind of a crossroads uh, fight, especially for, for, for Rain and Ingberg, because, yeah. like you said, he's at the end of his career, he's mm -hmm. looking at retiring. So he needs a win. And of course, Rowan Campbell, if he doesn't win, you know, puts him back, he goes back down the ladder where he, He's not going to get a world title fight. Yes. Not so quickly anyway. So it, it's a big, big fight for both fighters. Mm -hmm. and, you know, Rainer Liebenberg wants to make it like a swan song, go out yeah. with victory. Yeah. He's got a lot of supporters. You know, he's, a, mm -hmm. he's got a lot of character. He's a charismatic guy. And, and then you've got the young Rowan Campbell, who I believe is going to pull it off. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he's got the legs. I think he's got the stamina. And I think you're going to see a war. I don't think it's a easy fight by any it's a, it's a pick and fight but yeah, yeah. I think going past four or five rounds I think Robert Campbell's just going to he's, he's going to close he's just gonna, but Levin Bapp is dangerous though because yeah. Campbell has been knocked down several times yes uh, Rowan you know he, he was robbed of a knockout there in, in Germany against Nick Arnif knocked him clean out on his feet and then the referee suddenly invented the standing eight count to save him so uh, Rainer has got a good left hook I don't think he's a murderous one and done punch but he can crack a bit so it is a dangerous fight for her. Now, this fight was originally going to be a 10 rounder, it's a 12 rounder. Yeah. Who do you think that favors? I think it favors Rowan Campbell. I think uh, the longer the fight goes, I, I think the, 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 the tougher he's going to get, Rowan Campbell, because he's, he's got 27 year old legs and he's a youngster. But I've been wrong in boxing many times mm -hmm. too. You know? mm -hmm. So, um, Rainer Liebenberg can never be underestimated. He's a warrior, he's a wars, he's a veteran, he comes to fight. And he gets up for the big moments and he wants to win. So, mm -hmm. you know, there's Palace Bet has got the betting out mm -hmm. there. I'm not a betting man myself, but it, it would be a tough bet. I wouldn't put money on it. I think they've got Rowan as a betting favourite. Rowan is the uh, favourite. There's a lot of opinion that's coming in that's favouring Rainer. Yes, yes. Lots of boxing insiders, uh, trainers, yes. other boxers. And as it gets closer, it starts favouring Rainer. Yeah. So if one is a betting guy, maybe go and place a bet there on, on, on the underdog, on Rainer, and see where it goes. But uh, yeah, I'm well, betting, I suppose you you got to go with. Uh, mm -hmm. You mustn't go with your art, You must go with your mind. Just go with your mind. So yeah. whoever you think is going to win, put yeah. your money in. Yeah. But it's, it's it's a good fight. 
it, it, is a, it, is a, it is a very good fight. You think Rowan is going to do it. People are split down the middle. I'm going to do a prediction a little bit later. Uh, but I think we are... You're not giving a prediction. Though. You want me to give a prediction? I'd like you to. You'd like me to. Uh, yeah, it's a very tough one, Brian, because when it was announced, my thoughts were... Uh, somebody told me, Ach, no, Rowan will knock out Rowan. I said, no, nah, he's not going to knock out Rowan. I can't okay. see it happening. And my feeling was Rowan on points. As, as it gets closer and closer, I'm feeling Rainu a lot more. He looks confident. He look, he's always fit. That's yeah. nothing new. No. If, I, if, I look at, if, I, if I look at Rowan, he definitely looks different. Yeah. I can physically see he's ripped. Yeah. He, he's, he, he really yeah. looks like he's hit the road hard. Uh, it, nothing, the only thing that will shock me in this fight is one guy goes and blows out the other guy in two rounds. I don't think it's, it, it's going to be that. That will mm -hmm. surprise me. If one just dominates the other one. I think uh, uh, Rainer's going to come at him. I think Rainer's going to uh, hit him a, a hard a, a couple of times. I think Rainer's going to hit the deck. Uh, it's going to be a flash knockdown, maybe two. I think he's going to get up and he's going to stay. I think that's where youth will come in. He's going to need to lift his game a level. His defense, he's, he's going to need to sharpen that up because he comes at that and you can catch him down the middle. You can catch him around the gloves. Uh, but he's a pressure fighter, he, he's offensive mm -hmm. thing. So I am with not not, not a lot of confidence, I'm leaning towards Rowan weathering a storm and coming to win a close fight on points. Not much in it, maybe two points. That, that, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> you, you put me on the spot now. I, I but I'm not spot. sure at all. That's if Rayan knocks him out like he says he's going to, nice if he finish him and I, I'm not going to be shocked. If he manages to stop Rain who light cuts, something like that, I won't be shocked. If one guy goes but and it's a good cleans the other guy, I will be shocked. Yeah. yeah. No, nice fight. Absolutely nice fight. And as you said, and I, as I say now, that you, you just don't know who's going to win. You yeah. know, I, I've got that feeling that Rowan is going to be, he's going to be tougher in the later rounds. But, but Rayna is, is a warrior in the later rounds too. So let's see, tomorrow is almost here. It's almost here. Can't wait for the fights. Guys, be sure to uh, uh, tune in. Brian, thanks for joining us. Thank you. And we'll see each other Sunday. Be live on Super Sport D Day Boxing here at Empress Palace. For me, Brian Mitchell, and of course, Drinks My Life. Thank you for watching.